Yeah, we returned last night. Um, I don't think any of us knows what, what day it is at this point in time. Started in Denmark, went to see Lundbeck in the morning. Denmark generally, Rice got an exceedingly warm reception. In fact, all over the place, he was well received. He is, and, and by us, he is a wonderful, amazing human being. And uh, I was surprised that before even I, I asked something to them, I was given. Especially for the Lundbeck, I, I requested them that I need a letter to carry with me once I go and talk to the governor of Texas. And it was within one and a half an hour, they sent the, the hard copy of, the, of their entire letter. So that was a great success. Which every lawyer in the US had asked for and they would refused. So <laughs> just, just put it in context. And First time for all of us to be in the European Parliament together and the meeting with the MEPs was very moving. Briefly, the press conference. You had one in the Parliament. Tom Koenigs was delighted to welcome you. Did you? How did you find him? Did you like him? Very polite person. Very, very down to earth. Mm -hmm. It seems like if he had the power, he would have stopped this execution right away. Yeah. Europe is with Rice for so many reasons. Because Europe is against the death penalty, yes, but also for what Rice stands for, which is reconciliation, peace, forgiveness. I forgive Mark Stroman many years ago. I never hated him. I never hated America for what happened to me either. Hope for what he calls a better world. He has changed. He went through a healing process and he's a different person and he deserves a second chance to spread this kind of message and help others to, you know, to educate, not to follow his path. Regardless of their views on this particular topic of the death penalty, Anybody who hears of this case and Rice's efforts finds it for what it is, compelling, humane, the basic attempt of a survivor of a terrible crime to want to save the life of his attacker. Anybody who is a human being can relate to this. It's just quite an act of selflessness. Repriv, thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity to come to England and in many other European countries to save Mark Stroman's life.